cleared a major freak. So I'm running with no mods at all. I think I'm going to try to avoid it as long as possible. Although <laughs> some mods I've used in the past are calling out to me. Um, so I I did a bunch of series, very small, like uh, between each printer pod output. Uh, that's three cycles each. Took about half an hour each. Unfortunately, I I was watching uh, Doom uh, on the other computer, and I uh, I had the headphones on and didn't realize I was playing uh, an endless sound, like a ten-hour soundtrack. Uh, uh, Legends Never Die. Just to <laughs> keep myself motivated. Um, I didn't realize I was recording it, so yeah, unfortunately that was a waste. But what I had done was I started over again and I realized, okay, I need sandstone on all my levels, so I wanted to really widen my landing pad here by two steps in each direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that would be, that was uh, my plan. Um, I don't wanted to make three manual uh, generators and I wanted to split them off into different areas, um, a, a division of labor for uh, uh, power cells and stuff like that. I wanted my science to be powered off one, uh, my oxygen off another, and then the, the gas, uh, the gas pump and a gas filter for my oxygen mask that I was going to explore down here. And I got really into it. Uh, I had a few learning upsets, like learn, number one, learning that I needed a, a pipe uh, for the, the output. It just looked like it was it was emitting to. I've learned this before. Uh, I just forgot that the gas filter looks like something that's that's outputting into air. You don't need a, uh, an outlet, but you do for that one too. So you need three pipes. Uh, connecting to the gas filter. So I figured that out. And the other thing was, I was doing it all wrong. I was uh, trying to filter um, filter out uh, just the carbon uh, dioxide. But then I started to have uh, polluted oxygen, oxygen as well. And I was like, wait, why don't I just output oxygen and then let everything else go down, uh, you know, uh, go out the output pipe, not the filter. So I was like, huh, that's interesting. And I was like, okay, I need to find a low, a low pressure zone to do that. Um, so I got that to find to nearing the end of this uh, this last playthrough. And I'll show you. Whoops. That was one. This is two. Um, I've got the, the oxygen thing set up. Uh, and, uh, this space for the, the oxygen pump, and this one's powering the uh, science lab. I was getting my. I made a mistake actually and set up my, uh, my farming uh, on the same level that I I, I didn't want. Uh, I was trying to make this a science lab thing only, and I accidentally had my farming up here as well, so I needed to have it down here. That was one mistake, and I'm actually, you know what, I'm thinking of putting in the temporary toilets up here, so I don't have to dig that far that way, where I was was before I was a real push the first day. So I'll put the temporary toilets up here, because I, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not using it for any, using this space up here for anything right now, so I was like, why not, right? Uh, that way I can build my uh, beds this way and not worry about dismantling. Uh, it's really annoying when I try to dismantle, uh, get polluted oxygen and uh, I'm polluted water and dirt. And I like the setup I have here, but yeah, I, it was basically get the get this down, get the farms up first, uh, go for uh, the plumbing so I can get some lavatories properly made up here. Um, Got 
the setup, um, had this done, had that done, uh, going for um, the gas, the gas and mask and everything. But this was just basically me being happy right now, going great, I've made it, no screw ups, I have laboratories and I've got the food all survive. And I'd fix my mistake by then. cycle 12 and I've got the starting to get the kitchen set up I've already got the gas mask set up here and it, what I was actually thinking of was you know what I can set this up here and then send send my guys through this this way um, without having to because I wanted to get my hatchery up I was thinking well, wait a minute I don't honestly need this area right now. I don't need to dig into this area. I can have it down here. And then I can route my guys through and under here. And I, I'll need this here. And I'll build the, build the oxygen masks here. And then I'll send it down here. I'll make another bunch of storage things right here. Uh, but I also want to be incredibly speedy uh, and get my uh, large batteries in here so I can have placed, uh, I'll be placing a um, uh, coal burner right here and with my kitchen. Uh, just like Francis John uh, sets up. And, uh, the batteries here or here or whatever um, actually I'll probably probably be able to put the batteries right here and I can hook those batteries up individually to a pair uh, to these three and have large batteries off that um, I'll, I'll probably not I don't know we'll, we'll figure out what uh, but uh, we'll figure out I'll figure it out I usually lean heavily on re-watching uh, Francis John's uh, videos. I can't... I, I can't... I can't let my base be covered with litter like like he does. And I don't expand as rapidly as he does, of course. Um, so yeah, I tend to be really turtly, turtle behavior. Yeah, that's, that's the plan going in. Just get the, the farms up, laboratories up the kitchen up and then get the power um, going and at that point since I've got the oxygen mass I can just go for broke down here I was actually thinking of hmm. yes whole thinking of if I drop this down anymore yeah, I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. But yeah, I'm really happy about this. It's all set up nicely. I'll definitely be uh, following this as closely as possible. Um, but with, with the uh, oxygen mask right here, um, and I've decided to, yeah, basically improve my system. Um, but, yeah, we'll get there. Um, I was hoping to do set. Yeah, this is the gas I've got set up. Um, this is what I have want to set up here. Um, what I want to do is have my, my pipes, of course, leading down to here for the ventilation. But the power now is isolated to here. here and, on. and this one Isolated to this one, and uh, this one will deal with the, uh, the pump here and then the, the gas right here. So it's no longer I'm having to run the manual generator on this uh, carbon dioxide right here. 
I should be able to have two oxygen right here. And, oh yeah, a fourth one actually, sorry. Yeah, I, want, I was thinking of putting in a fourth one right there for another oxygen. So I'll run that one and this one. And then uh, I'll put this in as soon as possible and get that started up. Yeah, uh, that's the plan. Uh, I th think it's pretty solid. Uh, I'll yeah, I'll figure this stuff out. I'll still want to have a block in here, so it, it was real, dif really difficult to prevent uh, dupes from accessing the lower areas from here. So I think what I'll do is I'll just leave it blocked off and just deal with it there. Let's go in through here. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Um, I'll just leave this undug until I uh, want to clear it out. Um, it's just that the um, the oxygen loss uh, when you're dealing with this area, uh, the pressure and stuff. I really not really not keen on pressuring it up, but I might just to clear this area out and make. Um, collecting it to down here easier, but as you can see, it's already full from all this. It's already full. So. Yeah, if I could dig this all out with these oxygen masks down here, come up here, go up, up here, do it that way, and have uh, storage bins right here. I think these are all cool. After these are all full, we'll just go up here, dig all these out, but then there's just going to be a solid wall here, and I'll dig all this out, um, drop all this down, put in actual flooring, drop all this crap down here, and then I can pick it up. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, you see, me is the one I'm actually talking to it audience that's interacting at the time. Yeah. No way I'm streaming this. Hmm. Oh, right. And that's the other thought I was having. Uh, what I'd like to do is get all my basic technologies up quickly so I can, I can build this, get the wiring in, uh, build this, build this, get it all set up, get this set up, um, and then I can just close off this area and not have to access this area at all, you know? And I was thinking of placing this dispenser down here, like making one level here, you know, step right here, and put it down here, and then I can have the floor all the way across. And that way, my guys can access and build it to four with just building ladders. And I was thinking of actually taking way more advantage of ladders than I have in the past by going um, straight up from this direction and dealing with that way um, instead of having to go all the way up here, um, you know, back and forth. And I can just have ladders and just scoot right up and deal with it that way and make it super quick instead of having to do painstakingly uh, going bit by bit because you know I have to make floor to actually go this way to do anything else steps. But if I make ladders, I won't have to make that level just in order to get my dudes to walk over it, right? So if I just make well I could make ladders this way, but it's it it seems less I'll think about it. I could either go up here, build ladders, ladder floor, and then just dig like crazy and not care. Um, I think we should do that because I was trying to make this and make, yeah, that's not screw Just, just make freaking ladders. Yeah, it's just basically how to, how to do it quicker, more efficiently, and not be so uh, micromanaged with building one, digging there, building one, building there, as you... If you've seen any of my videos, that's what I do. It's a bad habit, really. It, it's it's nice and careful and 
methodical, but at the same time it's micro-intensive and doesn't really, isn't really efficient. It feels fun, like I'm interacting and making sure they're careful and doing all this stuff and I can spot errors as they're occurring instead of setting something up and then ending up with the dupe trap if I walk away from it. But of course, the dupe got trapped anyways. Um, I don't know how. I honestly have no idea. Like, how How the hell did he even... <laughs> it's just bizarre. Anyways. Um, that's about it. As soon as I can get my power up, and the battery, and the coal, and start powering this, I'll be happy. Uh, I have to manually turn this off because it's not a smart battery yet. But the way I figure, if I can get this set up, with the batteries down here, uh, these three, with two batteries each, uh, that'll free up space for lighting or something else or who knows. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to deconstruct these and think about other stuff I can put there, more helpful things. And yeah, and then I can tech out the smart batteries and do it that way. And then worry about the coal generator once I got smart batteries. Yeah, um... What I have to show you what I was dealing with. Um, I'd have... I'll set up the same schedule because it, it seemed very workable. Um, I had three lavatories and I had the the day, the, uh, the mid, and the night um, schedules, and also day, mid, night schedules. And I had three lavatories. Uh, I gave them, uh, I was giving them uh, no bath time because they tended, if there's anything debris here, or when I had the, the lavatories here, they were picking up debris and getting contaminated, and it was just so painful. But with downtime, they don't do that. They don't wash i mean go to the toilet pick up something and go to the washroom they'll just they just don't do any work so but now i've got it all set up and it's all clean i can make sure they go to the washroom first and then go eat because if you do it with just downtime they could potentially eat and then halfway through eating drop the food and and go get the lavatory um so i had dernal and then I had nocturnal, and then I had mid schedule. And the nocturnal uh, is the default because the printing pod will usually appear right here. And, you know, or their, their full day, that's what I wanted to sync them up with. And of course, I'd move them as quickly as possible to these. And these priorities were, at first I was trying to fiddle around with the supplying and storing, but then I realized that was silly. Uh, but I did eliminate a lot of digging, except for the quick ones, and then building only, I would eliminate uh, any slow builders from building. And uh, then I'd cut the operators uh, I used to go uh, that science guy would not operate um, and then uh, I'd have an, a couple of operators just for operating and they'd skill up because they were doing all the operating. So that was the plan basically. Um, and then the tidying was kind of annoying but then who tidies? There's hardly anything that happens when you do this. I, I shouldn't have actually disable this it just doesn't make any sense um let's see now uh the skills were i got a bunch of got some really lucky rolls on husbandry um so that was great uh, i tried to go this way directly but i have to have both skills so oops my bad uh if i knew that well she's an operator so it really worked out um Hassan had that so I got them pretty much all on proof carry which is great you know adding all that 400 kilograms carrying capacity was 
Awesome. Um, yeah, heart digging. I think I gave somebody cooking. Did I give somebody cooking yet? Yeah, I gave uh, one of my... This is a dog's body, really. Uh, yeah, and I, that, I think this is the, almost the last character I found from the printing pod. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I got way carried away with uh, with the printing pod uh, dupes, that's for sure. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, fairly happy with it so far. Um, I've got the image all ready to go on my other computer, which I'll look at and follow it. It's just basically this picture right here. A little bit improved, but yeah, it's just so I can just watch it and go, okay, that's what I kind of need to stick to, especially with the kitchens and stuff. But yeah. Maximize that sucker, and then I'll just go for it. So. I won't actually start a new game. I'm happy, very happy with what I had in the beginning. I might, if I start to get the same dupes and there's no random randomness, that's going to be really weird. Um, but we'll see. I like the dupes, they're great. Uh, it took me a while to get them, so I don't, don't feel like uh, going through all that again. Yeah, they're pretty good. Hard digging, improved construction, caring for every single one of them. So, pretty nice. So, I'm happy with that. Mainly because I do a lot of um, cleaning up. So, yeah. <laughs> OCD. So, if I'm going to build up here... This way, door there. One, two, three... for pressurizing too much area.
thousands have done this map before. I know right here is a thimble reed. I want to pipe all my uh, sewage into the thimble plant instead of going into the uh, into the basin. All of a sudden, the uh, overflow. So many uh, dupes, it's crazy. You get two of them soon enough, and yeah, it's dealt with, it's right. But I'll have to get, I'm not sure if I can set that up properly. Uh, think about it, plunge box maybe. Uh, maybe a farm tile, but I'd have to push real hard with the, uh, with the schedule. Alright, so they're going to sleep. Perfect. It's weird sometimes if you load a game, even from if you crap, hey, go to desktop and load up the game again and load the game, it'll, it won't tell you how many visits are in it. And I wonder if that's a cause of a bug or not. But, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't plunge toilets anymore. I just don't even bother. As soon as they get full, I uh, disable them. And then, you know, by that time I should have my laboratories up.
thought it was going to work. scientist in as soon as possible. We're boring that an operator, but we'll figure it out. Like, tailor each game depending on what I get in the printing box. You know, if I get an operator, I'll, yeah, it, last time I forget what I got. But it, it took me a while to actually get a, a scientist proper. I don't think a safe's going to that much. Alright. Hopefully, you're going to be able to go to washroom before. Time is up. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Is everybody... Oh! I guess you're all done. Oh, that's great. Perfect. 
person up there. Sable. Disinfect. Well, because it's not needed, apparently.
to hook up through the middle. So you go straight up, right? And then you're down that way. You're okay. I think I've got it okay. Yes, we're good. Too late to do a safe scope. 